Hello everybody, it's just Fear, we're back with a brand new uh, Dolphin emulator test, and today we're using uh, Dolphin 5.0 uh, 12247, and today we're going to be testing Castlevania Judgment, because uh, I've only ever tested this game once, and it was on a different uh, laptop uh, that was actually more powerful than this laptop, but literally half the size. Um, the laptop I'm using right now is fucking huge. Uh, but we're gonna test it. I hope it runs at full speed. It would make me very happy. And also, uh, I think if I remember correctly, I have it set to 720p. We'll start it at 720p, um, and then we'll lower the resolution uh, depending on how fast it runs. I doubt a game like this will run at full speed, uh, but we'll see. Oh yeah, and you can see the the cool little cutscene that we're gonna skip because there's no point in watching a cutscene all the way when it runs Castle that slow. Judgment. So yeah, the main menu runs at 20 FPS, uh, so I doubt the actual game itself will run any faster. Oh, uh, yet again, yeah, we're at 720p, so whatever. Yeah, let's create a new Castlevania Judgment save file. Let's go. Fudgeon... Uh, where's it? Um... Uh, there we go. Farts three, three, three. Let's go. You gotta have three hundred thirty-three farts. Load data. Um, friggin' arcade. Let's go to arcade mode. Never thought I'd see an arcade mode in a Castlevania game, but here we are. Ooh, should I play as Simon? Should I play as Alucard? Alucard is from my, one of my favorite Castlevanias, aka Symphony of the Night. Except I'm the one person in the world who prefers Mirror of Fate HD, or just Mirror of Fate in general, because I fucking love that game. What well, Maria is in this game? Is it Kid Maria or Adult Maria? Unless that's a complete, unless it's a completely different person, I'm not even thinking of. Maria is the character from the little girl from. Rondo of Blood, I'm pretty sure. I don't know who half these characters are. So we're just gonna play as the character that I do know who it is, and that's Simon Belmont. Who this looks like teenage Simon Belmont. This is Simon Belmont when he was in high school. I'm gonna go default color. I don't really I wish they gave him like different costumes instead of colors. Cause I'm pretty sure there were different cost. There were different things that Simon 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 Belmont had worn before this game's release. I bet there's there had to have been other costumes. If this game came out after Mirror of Fate, they could have fucking given him that costume, which I I really like the the design of Simon in Mirror of Fate because that's how I imagined he would just look like in a new Castlevania. Like if you look at the NES box art, I feel like. What they meant to make him look like was probably what he looked like in uh, Mirror of Fate. I really liked his design. Looking at this, you would, at first you'd think it would be a 2D fighter, but it's actually a 3D fighter. It, this, is like, this is like My Hero 1's Justice before My Hero 1's Justice was a thing. Oh shit, Simon vs. Alucard. Two of, my, two of the characters that I actually know what they are. Shit, why can't I actually use my whip? I don't want to use this fucking item. Come on, Alucard, stop! Leave me alone, you fucking fool. Why can't I attack? Attack, Simon! The face buttons aren't working. There we go. I'm pausing because I'm actually going to change the resolution because this is abominable. This, is, this performance needs to be better. Therefore, when all those spells... We bring out the native resolution, but this still doesn't bode well for how fast this is going to run, even at native. Come on. Oh shit, native resolution completely breaks the textures. That's cool. Oh wait, no, never mind. A lot of, a lot of games have this. Hold on, wait. I, there's actually, this problem, this like weird, like staticky colors on character models and shit happens. Does it only happen at native resolution? Because I've played a lot of games that have that. Oh no, it's still there, it's just not as prominent. It's kind of weird, there's there's obviously a setting that I'm missing. Uh, 
Here, let's actually look at some of this. Um, as no, let's try turning that off real quick. Uh, let's try that. Didn't do shit. That's okay. Oh my god, that sounds very... That sounds like it hit him very hard. Oh shit, I feel like the, those graphical glitches are worse now. There's probably just a setting that you can do that will fix this. I gotta look it up. Urgh! Castlevania Judgment! This is actually kind of fun if it felt like my attacks were actually gonna land and not be blocked by Mr. Alucardo over here. Okay, yeah, he fucking legitimately destroyed me. This is a game that I could see would be a fun remaster on the Switch. Like, actually, like, fix a lot of the problems that people didn't like it for. Like, maybe add newer characters, actual, like, skins, and not just different colors. Fix, like, balancing problems, if there are any. Uh, obviously make the graphics look better. Probably probably could be okay with just a remaster instead of a full-on remake. Uh, but actually give it, like, some things that fans would want in a Castlevania fighting game. And, like, put in some more memorable characters, like, fucking... Uh, whatever the fuck the one guy you play as in Lords of Shadow 1 and 2. Uh, I don't really know his name. I can't freaking think of his name. Uh, he's the he's the bad guy in fucking Mirror of Fate. And you play as him in the beginning of the game. Whatever, he's Trevor Belmont's dad. I can't think of his name. Um, but either way, uh, they could add him. They could fucking add fucking Richter. I don't know why Richter wasn't in this game, unless he is, and you just have to unlock him. I don't know shit about this game. All I know is that I bought it so that I could dump the ROM. I haven't even played this on an actual Wii. I literally just bought it, used this one application on my computer that lets you fucking dump games through the disk drive, and then I fucking immediately just added it to the ROM list. Uh, shit, I just gotta, I just gotta comment on my Reddit post. Basically, the, co the comment that I just got is, uh, I ordered the, uh, VGNY North American Physical, of, uh, um, uh, of the Schmuck Collection, and actually, I need to respond to this right freaking now, so I'm actually going to pause the video. I'll see you guys in, like, one minute. Okay, guys, we're back. Sorry, this whole fiasco with the, the VGNY Physical... Um, basically, they said that I ordered it a while ago, and it was supposed to come out in July. Um, the European version of the Shmup Collection is already out, and it's been sent out to people. Everyone already has their European physical who ordered it. But I emailed VGNY, and they told me that, um, they had, that Nintendo told them to redo the box art. That's legit what the person told me, word for word. Nintendo told us that we had to redo the box art. And therefore, that means it's delayed. I was so utterly confused, because I looked at the box art after I read that email, and I literally was like, why would Nintendo care about the, this specific box art for a low print game that hardly anyone probably is going to buy, um the reason why it's low print and why like I've never heard of them ever telling a third party to change the box art so I'm kind of just I'm very confused and very irritated because VGNY has done absolutely nothing to update the people who bought the Europe the North American version they have a newsletter that you can sign up for but they haven't sent out anything for that newsletter in over two months I remember when we got when they sent out I remember when the last newsletter was sent out it was a quick news update on what the status of the status was in all their games. They haven't done anything since, and it's irritating as fuck. Um, but actually, you guys seen how this game runs? I actually need to make a video about this. I've decided I'm gonna make a fucking video about this topic. Goodbye.